Ladies and gentlemen, Laurie Cardoza Moore with PJTN. And today is Memorial Day. And I wanted to deliver a message to all of our watchmen, especially all of our Gold Star families who have lost sons and daughters, husbands and wives in wars here in, for the United States of America. But also I wanna tie it to Israel as well. You know, we had the Memorial Day in Israel for the IDF soldiers because they're fighting to defend God's land. And as a Judeo-Christian nation, as a nation of Jews and Christians, we too respect and appreciate the, the sacrifice that they make as well. But on this, our Memorial Day, um, I want to share a story that had a huge impact on me. I was speaking a couple of weeks ago in South Florida, and in the audience was one of these Gold Star fathers. I didn't know it until afterwards, and someone had introduced me to him. You all remember Aaron Vaughn, who was one of the SEAL Team 6 members who died in the helicop helicopter crash in Afghanistan. Well, his father was there. And when I was introduced to him, my, I felt this wave of emotion come over me because I've never stood before a parent, a sibling, a husband or a wife, a spouse who lost a loved one. And I communicated to him our gratitude, not just as an organization, but as each individual within PJTN and how much we appreciate the sacrifice that their families made by offering their sons and daughters to go and serve in the military, never knowing if they're going to come home or not. And on this Memorial Day, we as a nation have found ourselves at the crossroads. We have a major um, split going on in our country. And we see Marxism and communism coming into our nation, into our school system, indoctrinating um, even churches. I was just reading an email this morning where that now the Marxist movement has infiltrated the Christian church and they are spreading their lies and disinformation and propaganda. And my message to each one of you the sacrifice that Aaron Vaughn made and others before him, they did it so that we could be free, so that we could defend our country, so that we could stand with our ally, Israel. And unfortunately, we are losing those freedoms unless we, the people, recognize the sacrifice others made before us and be willing to step into the gap. Now, at this time, on our watch. God did not bring us into the world a thousand years ago or 3,000 years ago. He brought us into the world at this time for such a time as this. With freedoms, we know truth. And if we, as Jews and Christians, do not unite together to stand and defend our constitutional republic, we will lose it. And this is the hour that we have had to draw a line in the sand, the line of demarcation, and decide what we are going to do. So as you and your family gather for barbecues and you remember the sacrifice of so many that we can be free. And freedom is part of God's word. It's in the Torah, liberty so that we can proclaim liberty throughout the land. That's only gonna happen if you and I stand up. And so ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank all of you as PJTM Watchmen, because I hear from you. I know your hearts. I know your passion. I know your disgust for what's happening to our country. But it starts with you and me, what we do in our local neighborhoods. We have an election coming up in 2022. And we have to prepare for that election beforehand. We can't wait till it gets here. And so I wanna thank all of you. I wanna leave you with a word of encouragement and hope. Do not be afraid and fearful, ladies and gentlemen. God reminds us in his word repeatedly, do not fear. 
because the Lord our God goes before us. And I want to read to you this scripture in closing for you to ponder and to pray about. It's in Deuteronomy chapter 20, starting at verse 1 through 4. And it says, When you go out to the battle against your enemy, and you see a horse and chariot, a people more numerous than you, you shall not fear them. For the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. It shall be that when you draw near to the war, the Kohen or the priest shall approach and speak to the people. He shall say to them, hear, O Israel, you are coming near to the battle against your enemies. Let your heart not be faint. Do not be afraid. Do not panic. And do not be broken before them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you with your enemies to save you. That's right there in God's word. And it's not just there in Deuteronomy, it's repeated throughout the scriptures. So ladies and gentlemen, we are not to be afraid. Just like we talked, today is Memorial Day, our soldiers and the IDF enlisted and went into the face of battle just like King David did, while everybody else was running away from the enemy, King David ran into the enemy's face and he declared to Goliath, I come in the name of the Most High. And Goliath, we know the rest of the story. David used his slingshot and five smooth stones and he took out the enemy. Just five small, smooth stones brought down the evil. Let that be a lesson to each one of us. Let us ponder the sacrifice that others made that we could be free and that we would fight for that freedom if it ever approached on our watch. Ladies, and gentlemen, God bless you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And thank you for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren, the state of Israel, and these United States.